good morning. So this morning I'm gonna go out and harvest my parsley and I'm gonna need to air dry it so I'm gonna harvest it and just show you guys what I'm doing and then bring it inside. There's a couple different ways you can hang it to dry and leave it on the sprigs or you can take all the leaves off and dry it flat and then you just have to like rotate it. So I'm gonna go out and do that this morning just a quick simple project but I wanted to bring you guys along because my parsley is really, really big, so I need to do something about it. All right, let's go grab some tools. Our little baby is not feeling the best. Hi, Viviana. Say hi. Hi. What's the baby doing? Ready? Ready? Okay, what do you think, honey? It literally rained the entire day yesterday. It was insane. So much water, but it helped our pond fill up, so that's nice. So right here is the parsley in all of its beauty, gloriousness. So this is curly leaf parsley. It's really, really cool looking. But I'm just gonna cut off around the outside of the plant. So like you can see down here, I'm gonna cut off the outside of the plant and same with that one over there. You wanna cut off the bottom of the plant and leave the middle section because this will grow and then it'll keep flushing out. So here we go. I don't have a pretty basket yet, but I will get one. <laughs> I really wish you could smell that. <laughs> so I got a pretty good amount here. Looking really good. It smells amazing. So I'm just gonna take this inside. I'm gonna rinse it with cold water. And then I'm probably gonna do just the flat drying method because I don't have like a drying rack to put the whole sprigs on. So I'm probably gonna pull the leaves off and then just let them air dry. And then you just turn them um, every day and once they start feeling crunchy that like you can rub them between your fingers and they just like turn into what dried parsley looks like when you buy it that is when they'll be ready to crumble and then store so that's how I'm gonna do it and when I'm done not sure how long it'll take to dry it but when I'm done and it's all jarred I will show you what it looks like later but it smells so good I grew that. That's exciting. All right, well thanks for hanging out with me this morning. Make sure you're trimming around the outside of your plant so that the interior will keep growing and producing. And it's really good to take off parsley because that makes the plant produce more. It doesn't know that it's making it for us. So when you trim it off, that produces more growth on your plant giving you more parsley throughout the year. So this plant will do really well as long as it stays cool throughout the spring and then in the summer, they kind of slow down, don't grow as much. Then in the fall, they do the same thing. So, and it overwintered here in our zone. So this is 6A. I was pretty pleased that it came back. <laughs> All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye.